Bad Max No. 2, The Robe Warrior, is a film about an astronaut who travels to Mars, played by Melanie Griffith. The unique thing about this movie that was filmed in 1922 by Steven Spielberg is that it was the very first movie to have a film crew actually travel to and film on the surface of Mars. This isn't that 1920s CGI that you see in cinema all the time. Now, the cast and crew faced many complications throughout the filming process. The main one being actually the Martians themselves, because it's a little known fact, but on the surface of Mars, it's actually a legal requirement to be buff. If you're not buff, then the Martians will be gravely disappointed. I am gravely disappointed. See, I told you so. The vehicles you see throughout the film also had to go through a very scrutinous process because every vehicle on Mars has to also double as a food truck. This is why you see a lot of spikes on vehicles or fire shooting out of exhaust and stuff. Those are all basically just instruments to be used to make shish kebabs and hot dogs and sausages and all kinds of other stuff you'd roast on a grill. While this documentary on daily Martian life was being filmed, Melanie Griffith discovers that a young Matt Damon has been stranded upon the surface of Mars. Realizing that there is absolutely nothing more important in this entire universe than returning Matt Damon home safely, they devised a plan to lure him back using a music box. Despite the group's best efforts, when Matt Damon grew up, he returned to the surface of Mars, saying that he was born on Mars and he identifies as a Martian. We, of course, went and rescued him again. And as we all know from our first grade history books, this would be the catalyst for the Treaty of World War M. Both Mars and Earth had sanctions over Matt Damon. But Matt Damon stood up, and before the bombs could be let loose, before the bullets could fly, he said these beautiful historical words. Matt Damon. 9.9 9 out of 10. Only reason I'm taking off a tenth of a point from this masterpiece is because of these scenes where everyone's obviously driving like 10 to 15 miles an hour and then they use fast motion to make it look like everybody's going fast. And to be honest, I don't blame the director. I've had to do those driving scenes where you have a bunch of vehicles all leaving on action and it's not easy at all. I almost wrecked one of them one time. Luckily, I, uh, I didn't.